We are Super Red and Tap, and we're gonna ask each other some questions about our new album, These Little Stories. Can you actually tell how did we get to the name These Little Stories? What, what is the story behind of the name Stories? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's coming from the stories that we hear when we are traveling like uh, all around the world and you know people are coming to us saying that you know this track like really gives me motivation in the mornings or you know I really had bad time in this time of the, my life and this track saved my kind of like or put me back together and something like that so it's incredible to hear these stories and this kind of like is dedicated to these stories that fans are telling to us. Yeah, and it's also really motiv motivating for us to hear those stories. And some people have probably heard these tracks already when we've been road testing them. Oh yeah, that's true, we've been road so testing. And, uh, the reaction has been good, but yeah. people probably no don't know that it's actually our track. So. But also, you know, these collaborations, what we are working on, they are like Christina Novelli, for example. Her voice has been always our favorites, and you know, now, when we were working with her, it's just unbelievable to, you know, how the track came alive when we heard her, her vocals. Yeah, it's always really inspirational to work with the other artists because they can bring their side and we can bring our side. And, and also, it's, a, it's also a learning process. You know, you can, you see, okay, these people are doing this music this way and what, what, what we can make, uh, take from there and uh, bring to our music as well. How did you guys meet? Uh, how we meet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how did we meet? I, I think the first times we actually met was like probably end of 90s in the clubs. Uh, but uh, like when we actually uh, made friends and started to know each other was when, that when you moved to the same studio building to work uh, actually the next, next room. Yeah. Early 2000. Early 2000, yeah. And and you started to uh, release on Anjuna Beats as well. And we were like, you know, there was a, wow, you really releasing on Anjuna Beats? I'm, I'm too, let's do tracks together. And Yeah. yeah it, was, it was just one summer day or night that we went to studio. Oh, that was three days. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell them. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's where, when we really connected together, yeah. like first time, that's when cool. we went, when we went to studio for three days, yeah. <laughs> but we didn't. I think we still have that track somewhere. That's not. We have the first date. We were like, okay, let's do it like seriously something. We're gonna release it someday. Yeah. How you made any songs that could uh, tie to an important moment in your life? Every song has their own soul. Basically, they, they, they been made in the process of something like you know. Especially like we heard some stories from our fans or something like that, that inspires us and we put that energy to the track. Or there could be something that, you know, we had our first babies and that was like exciting moment in our lives. Or, really exciting. Yeah, and it, you know, it still motivates us like all the time. So tap. <laughs> What is the biggest moment you have shared with a fan? Well, every time we go to play somewhere, it's always nice to see so many people on the, on the, um, in the audience. But uh, one thing, just recently, it's actually a guy from Finland and he was saying that there's like super difficult times and he wanted to have our autographs. And two weeks later, he came to our show and he showed it. The, He's been tattooing our logo and our autographs in there. I think I was blown away at that moment. Like, uh, what is your favorite song of all time? Yeah, this is this is really easy one because there's only one really good track in the world. <laughs> no, there's so many, there's so many good tracks. Uh, I don't know. I, I like a lot of fun, you know, uh, up and beyond tracks. Maybe I, I think maybe Can't Sleep is the biggest one for me then there's like uh, Finlandia from our uh, composer Sean Sibelius uh, that's great 
and I can't get enough of uh, Ferry Corsten's remix of Parpe Saracil. It's, yeah, yeah. I think for me, um, it changes every time. Right. Let, let me guess, Prodigy. <laughs> you were right. And I think, you know, I was thinking that maybe one album that really hit me big time in electronic music was Prodigy, the, the Experience album. And it still sounds great. And, you know, the energy and everything on that album is like fantastic. But yeah, like you said, it's hard to pick one. It's like, it changes every day and there's so many. So who is your biggest inspiration? Prodigy has been from the day one that I saw them when I was 16. Like, those guys just put something together that no one else can do. There isn't just one track that it's uh, easy to name, but of course Armin has been big inspiration, Above and Beyond has been big inspiration, uh, Andrew Bayer uh, from, from, from our music. Then, you know, in, in some point, like Coldplay, Coldplay music was really inspirational. And every day there's like a lot of music that is, is really inspirational. So, yeah. how was making music helped you in life? Probably, it, it has. I can do it as a profession, you know. Uh, and it, and, and some days it's also like when there's like a lot of stress or things, uh, you know, hard hard times going on, whatever. When I go to studio, I start to do music. I forget the whole, uh, the, the rest of the world. Yeah. You know, and 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 uh, especially if, if if we are coming out from studio with a with a good track as well, that helps to cope with the other other stressful things yeah. in the world. Yeah, music really helps on yeah. forgetting everything else when you making it or listen to it. So yeah. it's really meditational thing. Uh, do you have a story uh, being a fan? Okay, it seems that I'm only talking about Prodigy these days, but <laughs> I think it's like... A Not these days, last 15 years, that's yeah. what has happened. <laughs> I was 16 and I had my friend's ID and I went to see Prodigy first time when they were in Finland. And that changed my life basically. And then two years later they were coming to Finland and I did like a custom-made Prodigy t-shirt and I got to backstage after their show with these guys. And I talked with them and they signed my t-shirt and I was like, oh my god, like, you know, I'm with these guys, like they are my idols. And I think that's the biggest fan moment for me. Do you have any personal little story you like to share with yourself? Yes, yeah, probably. The birth of my of, of my children it's 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 amazing it's really scary son uh, but wonderful you know suddenly you have this tiny little things in your hands and you're like damn I'm gonna be responsible of this human the rest of my life but at the same time it's, I'm also it's, it's a proud moment